What's up guys and gals? Today we are going to travel back to high school physics to talk about gas flow. What I have here is a real suppressor mounted on a real machine gun. First, let's just watch it shoot a few times before we dig into it. To start, the function of a silencer is to capture the expanding gases, cool them down, slow them down, and redirect them. We can see each of those stages in this video. So in the first shot, we don't see a whole lot going on, except for this curious flame here. That is what is commonly referred to as a first round pop. Prior to the firing of the first shot, the can, just by existing, has filled itself with ambient atmosphere. When the firearm is discharged, a few things happen to this gas. First, the can is not a closed system, so a portion of it is forced out. We will come back to this in a minute, but think of the barrel and the bullet like the plunger on a bicycle pump. The ambient atmosphere contained in the can that isn't immediately displaced is instantaneously pressurized and superheated, creating ideal conditions for auto-ignition of reactive species like oxygen that are present in the mix. Subsequent shots will contain high concentrations of powder ignition products it will not exhibit this phenomenon unless given ample time to clear. To note, this whole process creates rapid heat growth in the components of the can and is readily apparent to anyone who has gotten anywhere close to one of these things after a few shots. Now that the can is gassed up with smoke, we can continue our analysis and you can notice the flow pattern of the can when it is discharged. The first thing to notice that is most prolific is that a gas jet seems to displace everything in front of the muzzle. That is the volume of gas that remained in the can and barrel after last shot. It is in our proverbial and aforementioned bike pump in front of the bullet. When the gun is discharged, all of this gas is pressurized and forced out of the system. Also contained in this jet that we can't really see because our camera isn't fast enough to capture the bullet in flight are the gases that are directly behind the bullet that were least affected by the baffles. For approximation purposes, think of this as the gas that went directly from the barrel into the bore of the can and didn't hit any baffles. That's not entirely the truth, but it's pretty close. Right after that initial burst has settled down, we can see a slow continuous leak of gas, and that is the proportion of the gas that has been acted on by the can and has been redirected through the flow characteristics of that silencer to slow it down and cool it down. The last curiosity that we can see in this video is this thing right here. What is that little puff here just before the shot? Well, if we zoom out to a wider shot, we can see our answer. That little puff of smoke is actually the volume that is being displaced by the new cartridge sealing in the chamber. That is a freaking neat, I have to admit. At any rate, I thought this was a really good opportunity to discuss the finer points of how suppressors work. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to smash that subscribe button down below. And of course, share this video with all of your friends so that they can be brought up to speed here at the VSO Gun Channel. Thanks for watching.